All right, guys, so let's get started by going over how to add and modify text to our iOS app using Swift UI. So as we can see here in Xcode, I have my preview opened up on the right and it just says, hello world. So this is what my app would currently look like. And then on the left, I have my editor that contains the code that's in charge of building or rendering out my app. And the preview just gives me a preview of what the app looks like. So we notice here, we just have some content view. Within that content view, we have a body. And then within that, we have this text property. So this text property is what we see showing up on the screen right here. I'm gonna be referring to this as something called a view component, right? It's a view and we have a bunch of different view components we're gonna be working with in the future, like buttons, images, uh, lists, text, all that stuff. So that's what's known as a view component. And we get that from Swift UI. So this is a property that Swift UI gives us and we can just write out text in the code. So let's actually just go ahead and delete this. I could write text and you guys see that shows up in my autocomplete, a view that displays one or more lines of read only text. So I hit enter, I open up some parentheses, add a set of quotes, and then I can pass in my text, hello world. And you guys see that in the preview that renders out live as I'm typing it. So we can see here how those two things are connected, right? This is the code in charge of building out my app. So now that we've seen that, I want us to go ahead and add some modifiers to this text, which is essentially just gonna modify how it looks or how it behaves. So we're gonna start by saying dot font, and then I'm gonna say like dot title. And we're gonna notice that the text gets bigger. That's pretty cool. And it's really simple to make that change happen. Really quickly, guys, let's just go over exactly this what this modifier notation is. So this means that I'm applying a modification to this text property or view component. I'm changing the font and I'm changing it to dot title. I have to use this dot notation so that it's recognized by Swift UI. Once again, this is all stuff that's given to us from the Swift UI library or framework. Um, designed and developed by Apple, and they give us all this stuff for free that makes, uh, that makes uh, modifying these things really easy and simple. So another example of that is I could say, you know, go to a new line and then say dot font weight, and you could say like dot bold. And you notice that it bolds out the text. So really quickly, just go ahead and delete all that stuff, and then you could say dot, and then you guys will get this list of available font weights that you have that are given to us by Swift UI, which is pretty cool, right? You could, you know, you could make it heavy and it's gonna make it even heavier. You could make it dot light and it's gonna make it really light. You could make it dot semi bold. There's a bunch of different options that we have given to us from Swift UI that makes modifying this stuff really easy. So let's just go through a couple other fun modifiers. Let's see if we can change the color of the text. So I'll go to a new line and you say dot foreground color and then I could say like dot blue. And that changes it to a blue text. I could also say dot red, changes it to red. And once again, guys, you could see all of the available colors you have to you just by saying dot. And then Swift UI recognizes that we're trying to change the foreground color. So then when I say dot, it gives me access to all of the available colors that I have. You know, they even have like fancy ones like cyan or magenta or pink or whatever it might be, dot pink, right? Pretty cool. So makes it super easy to modify these things. And as we can see, we can apply multiple modifiers to one view component. So I could take one of these out, like just delete it, and it'll remove the font weight, but it'll keep the other two things. If you guys hit Command Z, it'll undo your change, and you could see that come back into play. So another fun one is we could say dot underline and that'll underline our text for us. We could also apply like a strike through and that'll put a line through the middle of our text, which is also pretty cool. And I could also apply a custom font to my text guys. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. Um, but up here with this font, go ahead and delete the title. And to do that, you could just double click on the word and it'll highlight the whole thing for you. If you triple click, it'll highlight the whole line of code for you. So that's a pretty um, good tip for uh, you know modifying your code. Anyway, I could say dot system, and then let's go ahead and select this option down here in our autocomplete window where we get size, weight, and design. 
So I could give it my own custom size of like, you know, let's see, like I could give it like 12 and it'll make it really small. Oops, uh, so we get we have an error in our preview. Let's just go ahead and fill this out and then we'll hit try again to make these changes take effect. So wait, I could say dot semi bold font, I could say dot serif. All right, so you guys notice that that applies my own custom changes to this font. So we aren't limited to only the fonts that Swift UI provides us with. We can provide our own custom fonts here as well, just as we see there. So uh, I wanna show you guys one more modifier that's very commonly used when you're building apps. Um, and it has to do with what happens when this text spans more than one line. So let's just go up to the uh, text guy that we have here and add some more text to it. Um, Hello world, welcome to the best Swift UI bootcamp ever. So now that we, we can see our text is spanning more than one line, um, I'm gonna remove this underline and strike through, guys. So what you can do to do that is just highlight the lines and hit command slash, and it will do something called comment those lines out. So they're still there, but the code ignores them. So comments are sort of like notes in your code. Or if you want uh, something to just be ignored by the compiler or when your code actually runs, you could just comment them out and then that way you can still have them there. And if you ever wanna bring them back, you could just comment them back in with command slash and it will uh, bring them back to life, <laughs> sort of. So now um, I want us to see how we can apply some changes to the alignment of this text. So sometimes you want things to be aligned sent to the center, sometimes you want them to the left, sometimes you want them to the right. So let's go ahead and see how we can make that change. I can go down here and create a new, uh, on a new line, add a new modifier called multi line text alignment, right? And then I can just pass in some sort of alignment property. I could say like dot center. And you guys will notice that this stuff gets centered, which is pretty cool. I could also say dot trailing and it will align it to the right side of this sort of box that the text is contained within, or I could say dot leading. And then it will bring that all back over to the left. So um, that's pretty much it for the uh, text stuff, guys. You can see that it's really easy to add text to the app and apply any sort of custom modifiers that you want to it with color, alignment, font size, font weight, all that good stuff. And we can see that we also saw that we could apply you know, stuff that Swift UI gives us for free or we could apply our own custom stuff as well, like with what we did with this font here. So the last thing I wanna talk about before we move on to the next chapter or section of this bootcamp is what exactly is this uh, string that we have here? You guys have heard me say that word a couple times, string. You guys might not know what that is. So essentially just a quick overview of it is programming has different data types. So you can have strings, you could also have numbers, something else called like a Boolean value. And this is what's known as a string. So anything wrapped in quotes, your program recognizes as like a string of characters that we can display as text on a screen. So anytime you see text on a website, on an application, anything like that, it's represented as a string in the program. And once again, to make your program recognize that, you just wrap it inside these two quotes. You guys will notice, if I tried to take them out of the quotes, it's not gonna recognize that this is some text we wanna display. So just hit Command Z and Command Z one more time to undo those changes. And then now this is recognized as the correct data type as a string and everything is working as expected. So as long as we give this text property a string, everything's gonna work fine and it's gonna display that string in our application. So that's gonna wrap it up for the text chapter, guys. In the next one, we're gonna be going over shapes and colors in SwiftUI. So get excited for that. We'll see you guys there.